Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. We are getting festive today. Welcome back to a brand new video. I am sat down amongst a load of stuff that I've been buying over the last few weeks from various brands from budget to a little more luxe to small business and I thought I would just sit down ahead of filming my decorate for Christmas with me video which will be coming Sunday so very very soon um I thought it was probably just easier to sit down and show you everything within this video so that if you're future you are watching and you can refer back to this video to see where everything is that I got new this year then yeah it's all in one place it's all here and we are sat down today filming it and just feeling festive together so I've got my coffee in my anthropology mug which I got last year if you remember this is the snow snow cap I think they called it and It's a little bigger. I'd say it's better suited to a hot chocolate, but Home Bargains this year have brought out these, which just reminded me very much of my little anthropology one. These ones were about 15 pounds. I think the Home Bargains one was about two, two pounds, 2.99, something like that. But anyway, let's just have a sip. Fuel up for this video. I'm gonna try and not waffle, but we've got Primark, we've got Home Bargains, B&M, HomeSense, we've got The White Company and more. So yeah, buckle up guys. And if you want to see what I got for Christmas this year, then just keep watching. I feel like I need to put this coffee out of the way because I feel like a dog might pitter patter into here very, very soon. Okay, so I haven't really organized or categorized any of this yet, but I have just received this in the post today and it is a small business so let's mention this company first so on instagram oakland cottage interiors she has the most beautiful products that she offered to send to me which was so generous of her especially she's just started up her business and yeah she didn't have to do that but i of course love the items and had to share them with you guys so a little shout out to her and um, she sent me this firstly this little cowbell which I actually was on the hunt for some like this. I want to get some bigger ones as well. And I'm thinking sort of around the staircase, maybe on the wall lights to have these little hanging cowbells. I just think they're beautiful. So this one comes with the little white ribbon. I thought these would be quite nice as, especially with the ribbon, as little table place setting, you know, like around the napkins. Oh, just love it. And that like antique brass as well. You guys will know that is very me. Another antique brass item that she sells is this candle snuffer, which I just think is so unique. Most candle snuffers come with like a really long stem that you can put, what did I say? Pitter patter. Pitter patter. Hello, sweetheart. You coming to say hello? <laughs> you coming to say hello? It's a little cowbell giving you kisses this candle snuff i just love i've never seen anything like it really really pretty and then also this huge candlestick holder candle holder with really long like a church candle in here just love it really really pretty and then lastly she also sent over this little display board so these are always really handy to kind of have a a few things sort of stacked together on a board so that it just kind of ties it in together rather than it just being plonked on a table to have it on a display board like this i think it makes it look less cluttered so thank you to oakland cottage interiors for sending over those a bit that's very very generous of you i think i'm going to move on to the white company because that is for me anyway it's like the luxury present from me to me type of gift that I like to treat myself to every year at Christmas to just really get into the spirit. I like to start burning these items once we start decorating for Christmas. And um, yeah, so I've got a selection of some of their Christmas scents. I also have one of their brochures, the Christmas brochure. This is called the thread that they've renamed it. And they do this like new design where they're not white anymore. They've actually got like a full image on the cover, which this one in particular for Christmas 2023, I am very pleased about because it's obviously a beautiful little cottage house front door with the wreath, the tree, and a gorgeous little floof. I picked up the fir tree potpourri. These smell so strong, but also just strengthen them throughout like the Christi Christif Christmas 
period you can just pop on some of the essential oil on here and it honestly carries it really well so i have the fir tree oil as well so to go with that i did pick up one of the botanical candles in a fir tree which i think just sat on a nice little candle plate honestly you don't even need to open these these just smell so good this is honestly my favorite 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 scent of all time especially at christmas but yeah of all time fir tree is just the best i do obviously love winter as well i also love this one which again i decided to pick up a botanical candle in fireside because fireside for me i think i'm going to pop it in here where we've got the log burner it's like a sweet woody smoky scent honestly it's so good smoked wood birch and amber and then last but not least i also picked up this pack of 12 christmas tags they just say merry and bright love and wishes and peace and joy speaking of white company we have a few dupes so i spotted these in bnm and had to pick them up we've got a couple of white company dupes here but this one at £2.50 from the Scandi Snow Range, this bauble is just beautiful. The fact that it comes on the black velvet ribbon and it's like a kind of champagne beaded gold. They do have one on the white company that is a darker beaded sh shade that's it's kind of like a mud. I actually prefer this colour, to be honest with you. But then they also do these little mini houses. Very, again, Neptune White Company. They all have these little kind of ceramic houses, which I've been collecting for years now. I love creating a little village scene somewhere. And yeah, these ones are actually hanging. I probably would switch out the thread on them. They're just like, well, I don't know, actually, because they're quite thin, but they're just like a little gold thread with the gold foiled windows as well. Um, really, really pretty. Set of four for four pounds, pound each. And then with the tree in this room, we go quite glam, white company style, champagne golds, antique brass, black velvet, that kind of thing. So I thought I would pick up these. Again, I would switch out the ribbon on these because they're in a navy, which we don't have on our tree, but I always keep some spare, like black organza or black velvet ribbon just to switch out the, um, loops if i need to but because these are an antique breast mirror i thought they um i don't know i just thought they go with the theme really really well i have two of these already or they come in pairs so they are the star placemats from b&m at six pound and as we are hosting christmas this year i thought i would actually pick up two more pairs so that we have enough for everyone that's here on Christmas Day itself. We do have more on Boxing Day, but for Christmas Day, there's five of us. So we'll be able to each have our own star placemats. And then I also picked up these deluxe stocking hangers. I think I already have one with a paw print. I need to have a like good rummage through all my Christmas decorations. That's kind of what I'm doing in prep for my next video or my video coming on Sunday. Um, but I'm think, I think I have seen in there a one of these stocking hangers with a paw print so barney can have that one for his stocking and then we've got these two for tom and i that i can just pop on the mantelpiece because it's the first year that we've had a mantelpiece so exciting although i do want to put some kind of garland on there so i'm not 100 percent sure if we'll use those but anyway you'll see in the upcoming video what i end up doing let's move over to home sense we love a good home sense trip at this time of the year i'll probably end up going back a few times to be honest with you i actually have a few things in here for barney and he's right there he's just opened his eyes we have a toy and it does have like crinkles and squeaks and stuff in it but i'm not going to do it because we're going to save this for Santa Paws is going to give him this. So we've got that. That was $7.99. We also got these set of festive dog treats, which are £3.49 from Cupid and Comet. And then Denzel's, which he always seems to like the Denzel's treats. So they have a quite a few festive editions this year. They've got these pigs in blankets, which are pork, apple and honey. And then they also do the Christmas lunch bites, which are turkey, cranberry and stuffing. And then also I saw this in the holiday edition. Grooming, pet grooming section from Pet Head. It's the Scent 
sensitive skin shampoo and spray in roasted chestnut with cinnamon extract sounds like you want to eat it it reduced down from 19.99 down to 9.99 i also got a little decoration for our tree that we're going to have probably we'll buy that in december maybe the first or second week of december i'm hoping we can get out and do like go and visit a christmas farm and like a tree farm where you can actually pick and choose your own one so that is what i'm thinking in the kitchen like a real tree in there so for that tree i want nostalgic traditional colors the reds the greens the kind of felt things the cute things the photo frames we'll probably put a couple on there as well and anyway i saw this little dinosaur we have our own barney the dinosaur so i thought a little nod to him at 2 99 Then I also got this, um, what's it called? Like a Christmas glow where you can shake it around and it's got the little snow scene on the inside. So this was 14 99 They have some very similar, like very similar, just slightly smaller in B&M for £5. And I didn't see those until after I bought this one. So I still love this one, obviously, but... I'm just gonna say that, bear that in mind. And then Home Bargains, I got this huge candle that they've been doing for six or seven pounds this is. It's in uh, the, win it's from the Winter Collection, it says on the front there, in Neroli Lime and Basil. I just thought for that price for such a big three wick candle, I thought that was really good. I also got a little treat, festive treat that I saw in Home Bargains that sounded a bit of me. Milky Bar, but speckles flavored. I got a jigsaw puzzle again. Oh, I was gonna say I don't know prices. Yeah, that's not the right receipt. I think it was about three pounds, this 3 dollars because I remember thinking, wow, that's really cheap. And it's a festive scene Christmas puzzle. One of my favorite things to do at Christmas is just whack out a puzzle. The, the only thing is, that's usually when I go home for Christmas is when I do that. Um, because we're having it here this year, we will need our dining table for food. And it's like one of those things once you start it, you can't stop. So I need to find a spot to do this. Maybe in here somewhere, I'll set up a little puzzle station. But yeah, how gorgeous is that festive scene? It's even got a fireplace, literally just like ours. What else have we got in here? Another Home Bargains find. And this is the Bourbon Vanilla scented reed diffuser that they do. To be honest with you, even more so than the actual fragrance itself, the actual container. You could obviously use these containers and then buy the refills from the white company if you want the nicer scent. But Bourbon Vanilla sounded lovely and I love that. They had um, green and red. I also got from Hobargis, I've seen that they're doing this new scent from Radox. Oh, nearly dropped it. So I've got both the body wash and the bubble bath. I love Radox bubble bath. I just feel like it's some of the best. It really lathers up really nice. And this is in the winter edition, cozy cabin, spiced orange and vanilla scent. So yeah, picked up both of those too. Have a nice indulgent Christmassy bath one evening soon then i stocked up on some home fragrance bits from home bargains this one the fair needle and amber is one of my favorites and i think it was like a limited edition last year i'm not sure but because of the amber in there it's a bit like yeah it's a bit actually like fireside from the white company you know how they've got the smokiness but the amber kind of makes it a little bit sweeter so i got those anyway and then also the other home fragrance products that i love in the christmasy edition is this from stacy solomon if i can get this all year round i get it because it's so nice it's in winter walks which is um with notes of fresh pine i have this at the top of our stairs and as you're coming up every single time i smell it i saw this christmas card although it's kind of bent in the bag which is a bit annoying but from their Lux range at home bargains 69p i just thought this was a really pretty card it says for the for a special couple with a couple of stockings on there for a special couple at christmas it just says merry christmas on the inside so yeah i thought i would pick that card up for more of these hair skies have these at five pounds which are little ceramic tree dishes but i've got a couple of tree plates but i don't think watch me pull out about five others from storage but i don't think i have like a bowl version so this would be perfect for little christmas nibbles and snacks maybe a crisp bowl when you're hosting and i just love it five pounds i thought that was bargain another home sense purchase that i thought was festive but not too in your face festive they have some plates which i've shown on um i think on like instagram in a reel or something before and when i've seen it and i've left them i 
have regretted it so i need to go back and find them but they are plates in this kind of color but with like a little house scene on and they are 3.99 so so affordable i don't know why i didn't it's one of those things that if you see it you buy it and that's why i start shopping early because there's been a couple of things this year that i've left and thought no i'll wait nearer the time and i've now not been able to get a hold of them for instance my m s bags if you remember me saying in a previous video about these little gift bags that i've got the matching wrapping paper to i only got two gift bags but I want to get more for table place gifts and um, I can't find them. I've been to three different M&S's and they seem to just be sold out. They're not online anymore. And I'm like, why didn't I just pick up the mall whilst I was there anyway? Um, this, yeah, it's festive, but not too festive in that it's just got a little toadstool in the middle, some leaves around the edge and then holly leaves on the outside. So really pretty kind of pie dish and this was 10.99. Then I popped to uh, Hobbycraft. I was gonna say Hobby Lobby then, but that's America, isn't it? Hobby Lobby. Oh, I wish, I wish we had the stores that America has. I've seen a couple of videos from Americans this year that have been doing Christmas shopping and I'm just like, how do you have that? Like the cowbells, for instance, I think, was it Hobby Lobby maybe or Target or something? Whereby they've got these huge giant cowbells like a set of three on this really pretty jute with a ribbon nine dollars we just don't get that in england we don't get it uh but anyway i got these two little decorations from hobbycraft um this plain little uh white stocking in like a cottony canvas material with a jute ribbon i think these are about they're less than a pound each i'm pretty sure don't don't quote me on that but i'm pretty sure they are um and then this hanging decoration which i thought was just beautiful little letters to santa again this will probably go on the tree in the kitchen a bit more kind of like bigger garish bolder things like this whereas this tree in here will be very glam minimal classy classy <laughs> mature champagne golds that kind of thing you know glass baubles this is going to be the tree that no one's allowed to go near. The dogs will destroy, because yes, we're probably going to have three dogs here on Boxing Day. Uh, but anyway, moving on. I've got a couple of bits from Primark. This isn't really festive, but I picked it up anyway, because it reminded me a little bit of the White Company. And it's this gift wrap that they've got. They did have it with all the Christmas gift wrap, though. Um, and it's got little hearts on. So I've got some like this with little stars, little gold stars on. Perfect for christmas but i thought the hearts could be good for all year round really i also have um a couple of the primark gingerbread scents so we'll try these out and see how we get on but the reed diffusers they say last up to eight weeks but i don't think i get that much use out of the primark ones they don't seem to last that long and then the gingerbread scented ornaments that they do i've got christmas tree one of this as well two pounds but these are good like they smell now but also Again, with the potpourri, you can like refresh them with the essential oils. So yeah, two pounds for that. And then the rediffusers are three pounds. How nice is that packaging? Even to gift it to someone for Christmas. I just think it's so pretty. Also in that gingerbread house scent, I got one of their room sachets that you can just pop in like small spaces. And then also the scent forest pine, which is probably the one that I prefer. But these are one pound 30 each well they used to be a pound for two <laughs> but yeah one pound 30 each and then last but not least from primark we've got these festive bows which is going to be making an appearance on this one down here pet two pack of bows i don't know which one's my favorite the red velvet or the green velvet i don't know if it's putting off i don't know if the ring light's a bit too bright there but it's like a really nice forest green color or the red I, I think i actually, oh, i don't know i like them both i like them both we'll have to have a photo of each with him and put a little poll on instagram to see who which ones that voted most for which one he wears on christmas day and he can wear the other one on boxing day so it's fine it's all good i've ordered some bits from h&m it might even already be live before this video goes live but i'm thinking of doing a little try on session of all of their pet festive jumpers that they've brought out this year not even jumpers but like costumes as well so I've ordered a few for Barney. We'll see if we can get him trying some on for a little Instagram reel on his Instagram. 
Um, but yeah, anyway, thank you so, so much for watching today's video. I hope it's brought you up to speed with things with everything that I've got new this year. You will see all my old previous decorations in my video coming on Sunday for my decorate with me video. Hopefully it should be live on Sunday anyway. Don't hold me to that, but I'm sticking with my usual schedule of Wednesdays and Sundays, but with it being November and December and really busy, I do have like the odd bonus videos going live here and there. So the only way to be notified is that little notification bell that you can click for the channel just so that it'll email you to tell you once i've uploaded a video thank you so so much for watching hope you guys have enjoyed this video have a lovely rest of your day and i hope to see you all very very soon in my next one bye guys mm -hmm.